Welcome viewer, this is the Health Talk Show. I, if I may quote one of the greatest televangelists, Joyce Meyer, she said, I believe the greatest gift you can give to the world and to your family is a healthy you. So at GBS TV, we are concerned about your health. Today in the studio, I'm having an amazing guest with me who's going to share with us and also introduce himself Welcome. Thank you. Um, I'm Ali Kapusia, a nephrologist nurse. Welcome, Ali. He's not new to the gate to, uh, to, to most of us. Uh, last time we were with him, we talked about kidney failure. And today we also have a, 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 an amazing topic that we're going to, he's going to enlighten us on more about it. Today we're going to talk about kidney transplant. We want to know what is this kidney transplant? Do we have it here in the country? We want to know about the cost. We want to know who qualifies for this kidney transplant. They also the process. Or do you just walk in to the hospital and you get, are there processes that one requires to do so that uh, they can undergo this process, this surgery? Welcome, Ali. Thank you, thank you, Ben. Uh, okay, if, if, if I may start. Last time we were talking about kidney transplant. We talked about dialysis as one of the treatments for kidney failure. If you, if, I, if you may just be brainstorm on it, take us through just a little bit about the dialysis. Just a recap of what you shared with us last time. Thank you, man. Uh, I said dialysis is a, is a treatment that it replaces the functions of the kidney. And uh, that time, because of maybe time, we didn't mention what other replacement that there is. We have two replacement therapies, kidney replacement therapies. First one is that of um, dialysis. The second kidney replacement therapy is that, is this now we are talking about today of transplantation, kidney transplant, because there are so many, I mean, when we talk of transplant, it's good we have to qualify <laughs> what we are transplanting because a lot of tissues can be transplanted. But today, of course, we are talking about kidney transplant. Um, and kidney transplant is, um, you see, you realize, Ben, as we said the other time, that dialysis, especially hemodialysis, you have to be bound within the hospital, within a health facility. You have to, and even if you had it, let's say at home, because you can have home dialysis. You can have your machine at home, you set your home, but you see, you are still bound to a machine. You can't, you have to take your all three hours, four hours, whatever the hours, at a, in, in a, on a bed, and just um, get dialyzed until that time, get out, let's say four hours in a, in a, in a day, in a bus session, you come the next, it is twice a week, so you do four hours, four hours, eight hours in a week. How many hours are in a month? Wow. How many years, hours in one year? And these are the same people who have the same 24 hours, like all of us, and they need to do their things. They need to live their lives. They need to pay their bills, but they are bound. So they can even lose jobs coming for, for this diet because you cannot ask for all these hours the rest of your working working days and even whatever you're doing whether you're doing your own business whether you're doing um, looking after your own cows whether you are you're, you're, you're bringing up your family I mean you will lose you will lose those hours are so many so and especially in an employment you may not be retained in that employment. So there has to be an exit plan. There must be something lasting. And you know when sometimes you, you, you get sick, you know we have not brought issues of Uber, you know, the fuel, what takes you to the hospital. How, there, there are a lot of things. So dialysis is very expensive. So then we go to this other option of having to get something that you will work with as you would your native kidney, work with your native kidney, 
So this, this, this time, somebody comes, and uh, of course, if you have to get kidney transplant, you have to be a, dis I mean, a patient first, yourself. I mean, the recipient. There are two people, the recipient and the donor. The recipient is the patient, is the person requiring kidney replacement. So, uh, just to cut it short, yes. you, you said, from what I'm getting, is kidney transplant is the, the, the way out from dialysis. Besides dialysis, yeah, it's good, it has saved life, but now kidney transplant is almost a permanent way of getting somebody from that machine. So, in your definition, what is kidney transplant? A uh, kidney transplant is, um, is a surgical procedure. But it's a process. I should say it's a process. Because it's not just, it's not an event. It's a process whereby a healthy person, we have a healthy person and a sick person, the kidney who's, who has lost, lost kidney, their, their kidney, and they need something to, I mean, they need a kidney. So a healthy person comes, they get investigated, they have a lot, which we are going to talk maybe shortly. They get investigated, and when they qualify to be donors, then, and, and the patient, which is a recipient, qualifies to be a recipient now, then uh, they are taken to theater. And the healthy kidney, from that, and you know, both kidneys must be healthy from that other, the, from the donor. So one kidney is harvested, it's called harvesting. So it's harvested and then it's a surgical procedure. Then the other one and implanted on the recipient. So, and this recipient now will use this kidney as their kidney. And it will do the normal functions of the kidney. Just like any other kidney would work, that kidney will work like that. You have made me to, re to remember there's something normally in agriculture, when I was doing agriculture in those days in high school, is it a transplant, does it almost work a similar way, where another plant is taken from another place, then attached to a main plant? Yes, what, what really happens is uh, a kidney is, is harvested from, from one, one person, who is usually the donor. A surgical procedure is done, the kidney identified after, of course, a lot of series of tests, and then you take, you take the arteries and the veins, the vessels of this, of this kidney, the affected kidney, and attach usually to the iliac fossa, which is this region, the vessels there. You attach the artery to artery, vein to vein, and then you unclamp them, and blood flows to that kidney, the new kidney now, and start, and the ureter, which is usually the drainage of, of the kidney, it's attached to the bladder of, of, of the recipient. And that bladder now starts, I mean, the, the, the kidney now starts draining urine. In fact, it's such a beautiful thing. If you see it, and uh, once the clamps are unclamped, and the, ure and the, and the blood starts flowing, the arterial, arterial blood starts flowing to the kidney, and the, of course, out through the, through the vein, you see urine immediately starting to trickle. You know, and you get so excited. <laughs> it's a beautiful thing you would want to see. So that's really what happens. Uh, wow. Yeah. I just love the smile how you're putting <laughs> it. I can yes. see you are just imagining yourself you are in theater. Yes. You are seeing that process being done, the transplant of the kidney, and they're coming, that, that kidney is coming to life. I can see just from the ex expression. Now, who is a donor? And who is a recipient? Because you have been using that word donor, recipient. Who is a donor and who is a recipient? Okay, for purposes of this talk, uh, they, they, they are legal, you know when two lives get involved, law comes in. People must be protected, okay? So they have to protect, first of all, this person must be, a donor must be a legal person. Legal person means this person is of sound mind. This person 
is of the right age. And in this country, I have to say this country, because I do not know legislations of other countries, until something changes, this country, you cannot donate a kidney until you are 21 years old. Wow. So there's a cutoff age of 21. 21. Below that, you can't donate. We are saying 20, below that, you're still emotional. And we don't want you to give out a kidney with your emo because you're just emotional. Why 21? And they talk about 18 being the <laughs> age whereby <laughs> I can get an idea and can yes. make my full decisions. Yes, yes. But this is a serious, this is a serious uh, decision. It involves your life. Okay. Your life. Mm -hmm. you, know, you, you know, when you're going to theater, you usually sign documents. A consent. A consent. Mm -hmm. That I have accepted that in the event of anything, I had consented. So we cannot allow that consent to be from somebody below 20, 21 wow. years old. So they must be 21 years 20 and above. 21 years and above. So this person, when, when this, and it has to be willing, no coercion. In fact, if it is found that you have done coercion for any reason, that okay, if you are a father and you said you want to give, give me a kidney or I won't pay your school fees, nobody will touch you. There's no surgeon who will touch you. There's no medical person. That story ends there. If it's understood that you have coerced anybody, if it's understood that you have paid money, nothing works. So it has to be free will, free will. So this person comes 20 year, 21 years old and above, free, says I want to donate my, one of my kidneys to, to so and so, who is related. In, in this country now, you have to be related. But in the world, anybody can give you a kidney, just like blood, right? Anybody you can get, when you go to a blood bank, you don't know who, I mean, which clan that person was or from which race or something. So, so anybody can give you. But this one, you must be in this country until otherwise stated, it is that you have to be blood related. So this person comes blood related and then they undergo counseling first. Rigorous counseling, very serious counseling. And this has to be a counselor who is specialized in doing this, not others from other specialties. You have to understand what's so, going. From what I'm getting is a donor is somebody who must be of good health, sober mind, above 21 years of age, willing to give part of his organ. This time the kidney. This time we are talking about the kidney. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Now, a recipient. A recipient is, um, is a sick person. This is a sick person. Or let's say a client who has a kidney problem. Now this time, no age limit. Uh, <laughs> yeah, not, you know, there's sometimes there's chronological age and then, you know, you can be old, but you look very young. You're strong. You, but you can be look, uh, you can be young and really frail. I don't know, that, that's, that's neither here nor there, but it's a powerful thing. So, usually we have, what I know is that I've at least seen somebody 60, was it 63 years transplanted, receiving, trans, receiving kidney. So you have, you have to check, you have, you, have to, you have to check. And so that, that person is sick, he needs kidney transplant. This person has chronic kidney disease. So it must be chronic. Chronic and requiring dialysis, I mean um, a replacement. Otherwise, if they don't get a replacement, a kidney replacement to therapy, they don't, they don't get to live. Maybe dialysis or now the transplant. The transplant. Mm -hmm. And this person has to be of sound mind. Again, has to be of sound mind. The reason is there will be a lot of restrictions after transplant and we don't want you to waste somebody's beautiful kidney 
just, just, we don't just pick it and just put in you, and the next day, that kidney is not working. You need to be very responsible for, for, you, to, for you to qualify to be a, as a recipient. Okay. Yeah. So there are also some laid down. Wow. Viewer, as you are hearing, I'm learning also. I didn't know there's a cut off age for a donor. Hit our social media handles at GBS TV Africa, SMS line 21144. Now, Ali, you told us about this a process about the donor and the recipient. Take us through the journey of this family. You said it is a first, they must be related. Our view outside there, they're having a patient or a father, a mother who has kidney failure and they really want to go through this transplant. What are some of the steps they're supposed to follow so that they can have their patient or their relative who is the right to, to get this kidney transplant? What are some of the steps? Thank, thank you, thank you, Ben. Um, first of all, I would want to say that we are lucky as a country. We have um, a couple of centers in this country that does kidney transplantation. And that, that's been there for a while. Uh, like uh, in our largest referral, you know some things, you may not know that they existed, but can you believe, Ben, that 20, I mean, 1984, that there was a kidney transplant in this country? 1984. 1984. Wow. So, so we have been doing it for over close to 30 years. Yes. And we have never stopped. This country has never stopped doing a kidney transplant. How many do we do in, how many kidney transplants do you normally do in, in a month in this country? Uh, if you have the figures? Uh, I do not have the figures, but I, I know, of, um, I, I know of, an, of an institution that does almost four transplants per month. Four per month, wow. That's a big number. Mm -hmm. Because if you did that in one year, then you're going to have about, is it, what's the figure? Almost like 50. Yeah, four times 12, 12 that's 48. 48 mm -hmm. They're about, so between 30 and 40s, that, that's a huge number for yeah. one institution. And they're pretty successful. So, so the, the, the steps. The steps, of Starting course. Starting from, from, yeah. from the donor and the recipient. The yeah, journey. there's a lot of preparation. First of all, before we know that somebody needs to be, we're dealing with two people. And their files always go together. And they share a name, you know, and they're, they're doing the, the, in, their, in their file. So once a person says they want to be transplanted and they have identified a donor, a patient who is stable, we usually want to transplant patients who are stable, first of all, so that we increase the uptake of, of this kidney. So first of all, we dialyze this patient very well and if th for those who may not have started dialysis, there's something called preemptive transplantation, whereby you have been followed in the clinic, they know you have a kidney problem, they know you're about to start dialysis, your kidney fa is failing so fast that you must now start to, 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 be, to start your dialysis. Th then they say, okay, if you have a, then they say, somebody has come up and they say they want to, give a kidney. This time, there's a family conference. These people are called. They're usually called. That's the first step. Call everybody in that family. Talk to them. Tell them what that kidney transplantation is. Talk about the transplant. Tell them about the restrictions. That if you are transplanted, it w we won't be allowing this. We won't allow, the, for, for example, if somebody is a smoker, for instance, a chain smoker and all this, and they're not willing to leave it, don't, okay? You, 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 you stop that story. <laughs> wow. For instance, if you are the recipient and you do not stop that, then if you're a heavy drinker, you're likely to be responsible. We don't. So you have to be really responsible. So first of all, we talk with that family we tell them what that thing entails. 
And then after everybody has accepted, tell them also about the financial implications. These are things you must have to prepare because at the end of the day, you will need money to buy medications, anti-rejection medications. Because God is so good. He's such a great engineer. You cannot, what he does is that anything strange in you, anything new gets reject, rejected. The body refuses and gets it out, kills it, literally. If it's a tissue, it kills it. So you have to use anti-rejection medication and you have to use them forever, as long as that kidney is still there. Wow. So you have to have the means to support that kidney by buying the medication, going to clinics and all this. The family have to say they're able to do that. Once that is accepted, going to the person now, we usually say, if there are many, ask all of them, talk to them. You have four, five siblings or so, and they all, plus a mother, maybe ma father, and they all want to give the kidney. Talk to them. And then start with the most probable one that you are going to say, okay, this one is the most probable person. Take their weight, for instance. Your BMI should be normal. If your BMI is not normal, you cannot because you are prone to many things. The surgery may not even go well because you are, uh, because you are too heavy, you're overweight. So you can get some people, some laughing people sometimes who love their family members and they would want to give them kidneys. They can work out, burn. They work out until they are fit so they can give the kidney. Oh. And then the other thing is they should not be having any other comorbidity, these people. They should not be hypertensive because if they have hypertensive, you remember our previous talk, we said hypertension will predispose you to kidney, kidney failure and control. <laughs> you remember? If you are diabetic, of course, it's a no. Just hold on. Just hold on a little bit. Viewer, we are learning a lot today about kidney transplant. And our guest has a lot of material that he has to share with us. You might be outside there having a relative going through dialysis, having kidney failure. This is the right place. GBS TV Health Talk Show will be right back after the break. <laughs> 